So, this happened. In reality, when you looked at the stuff that Andrew Tate spoke about, one of the things he spoke about quite a bit was polygamy. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that Christianity is against polygamy, regardless of what some of the folks in the comment section might like to say. It's very clear that God, from the beginning, created them, male and female, in a monogamous relationship. And I think part of the reason that he might be moving from Romania to the United Arab Emirates is because the UAE allows for polygamous marriages. Are you seeing what's going on here? Okay, three main points to cover. Number one, with all due respect, Christianity does not preach monogamy. The Bible is filled with examples of polygyny, from Abraham, peace be upon him, to Solomon, peace be upon him. The church, however, decided at one point in time to make monogamy the norm. The church decided to make one man, one woman, the only acceptable marital option. Again, the church did this. So I don't know if you're misleading people or if you didn't do your own research. Number two, Islam does not preach polygamy. Islam allows polygyny. There's a difference. Polygamy means anyone can have as many partners as they want. Polygyny means that a man can have multiple female partners. However, in Islam, this is actually limited to a maximum of four wives simultaneously. And as a matter of fact, believe it or not, Islam is the only major religion that actually says marry only one. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that you can marry two or three or four, but if you fear you cannot do justice, you cannot be fair between them, then marry only one. And finally, to say that Andrew Tate accepted Islam so that he can have multiple wives is by far the stupidest thing I've ever heard today. People who say that don't really understand what marriage is in Islam. Because in Islam, as a Muslim, a man who marries multiple women means you are responsible for all of them. You have to take care of them financially, physically, provide food and shelter and protection for all your wives and all your children. And you have to treat them fairly and justly. There is so much involved in marriage when it comes to being a Muslim. Now imagine having multiple wives. So my question is, why would Andrew Tate even put himself through that if that was his motive? Why would he not just continue to date as many women as possible with no legal obligation to any of them and no responsibility? And sadly, your logic is just like my man bun. <laughs> it ain't working out.